Oh, where is it gone? Oh wow, that was that was crazy. <laughs> That's right guys, we are finally taking a look at the WL Toys WL916 Deep V Brushless Boat. It is a three cell uh, boat, so it should be pretty fast. So let's take a look at what's in the box and then we'll get it in the water. As always, we'll get a very basic uh, instruction guide or user manual. We got the USB charger, a spare prop, and a few tools, a display stand, and now to the controller. We have fully proportional throttle reverse and steering. We have our power button and our throttle rates and steering trim. And it takes four AA's not included in the box. Now taking a look at the boat itself, it has a very nice profile. It looks very promising. Hopefully it's very fast. Now going inside, we can see all the water cooling for the motor, the three cell 30 amp speed control up the front there. We've got the three wire servo, which is very handy. And over this side, you have your battery bay. Taking a quick look at the water cooling, we can see it goes all the way behind the servo, goes up to the speed control. It actually goes through the speed control twice and then over the motor and out that little nozzle. As you can see, we have plenty of adjustments on the rudder and we have adjustable outriggers or steering blades. And one other thing that a lot of companies have been doing is adding these rubber caps for the nose to prevent any damage if you hit rocks or anything. And the boat does come with a 1800 milliamp 45C 3S LiPo. Now I'm gonna leave the little uh, rubber cap thing on the front just in case I come up against any rocks or anything. Not the fastest servo. delay as well. Oh, we got reverse. Nice, well, here we go. It takes a little while to get to uh, get up on the plane. It's not bad. It's very quiet. It's very smooth. Oh, ho. yeah, steering to the, the left isn't great at all. Might have to adjust those blades. It is pretty quick. I'm not sure that's doing 55 kilometers an hour though. Drop that down, see what happens. Lift that up and see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't steer great considering uh, the blades and everything. Turns too sharp. That's full throttle and full lock. All right, other way, full throttle, full lock. Oh, There we go, now I'm starting to get that steering a little bit better. It's 
just almost too much dual rate in the steering, I think. It's just a bit too touchy. Alright guys, I did bring my GPS, so I might chuck it in and see what we can what we can get and then I'll put my other battery in and see what we can get on that. Absolutely zero, zero water in there guys. That is fantastic. Best boat I've ever had for getting water in or not getting water in the hull. Kilometers peak. Uh, can I record? That is recording on zero. So we'll see what we can do on the stock battery. And then like I said, if, if uh, all goes well, we'll chuck the other battery in and see what we can do on that. Might need a bit of trim actually. See what we got. Hopefully somewhere around 55. Oh, is that all? So we only got 42 kilometers an hour. Uh, now these speed controls can run four and possibly five S. So I will put a 4S uh, battery in there eventually and see what we can do on 4S. I won't be putting a 5S in there. I don't have a 5S that fits in here and I'm not really sure whether they can run 5S. So a 4S, I reckon we might be getting closer to the, the 55 kilometers an hour. Let's see what we can do with my high C rated uh, China Hobbies battery. So it's still an 1800 milliamp three cell battery. But the difference being it's 70C. I think these are around about 45C, something like that. Uh, so I think this should give me a little bit more power, a little bit more top end, hopefully. All right, it's in there, guys. It's in there, just. It looks like it's a bit lifted here, though. All right, won't be too long. Just a quick run, see how fast we can get. Maybe closer. Yeah, it's probably getting closer to 50 kilometers an hour. Oh, where is it gone? Oh, wow, that was. That was crazy. <laughs> Stayed under for so long. Probably got a bit of water in there now because that, that top's not, not closed properly. Oh no, there's a lot of water in there now. Yeah, because that wasn't sealed properly. And only 46 kilometers an hour. So I reckon, I reckon we will get about 55 kilometers an hour on the 4S, definitely not on 3S. Yeah, that's definitely not the boat. That was my fault for um, leaving the top open. All right guys, we'll, we'll put the stock battery back in, have another quick muck around, and then I'm gonna have to head off. I'm gonna have to find a 4S battery to fit in here properly so I can test it on 4S. And uh, yeah, see if we can hit that 55 kilometers an hour.
Oh, there we go. That's the battery gone. <laughs> As you can see, the uh, low voltage warning definitely works. You've got a low voltage warning on the controller, it's beeping at you. Uh, I think I might have to adjust these blades a little bit different, maybe bring them up more. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure when it comes to boats. Not sure how to set them up properly to counteract the torque roll and everything. So quickly check it, see what voltage it says, because I'm not sure what the low voltage uh, settings are on these boats. There we go guys, 7%, 3.6, 3.6, 3.4, that's a little low, but still not too bad. I'm happy with that. The stock battery, I think it was around about 42, 43 kilometers an hour, and 46 on the China Hobby 70C battery. So this stock battery is pretty good quality. Uh, being 45C, getting, you know, not much less than 46 kilometers an hour is pretty good. But like I said, I'm gonna have to chuck a 4S battery in there to see if we can get the the box claimed uh, 55 kilometers. Um, I'm gonna have to buy a four cell battery that fits in there because I don't have any at the moment, but I'm pretty keen to do that. Yeah, everything in there is cold, so yeah, that's excellent. Uh, a little bit of water in there, I'm gonna have to let that dry out and definitely never run a battery that doesn't fit. Yeah, hopefully I can get out soon and give it another run. All right guys, I'm gonna have to leave it here. Cheers, catch you in the next video and stay safe.